At approximately 12.30 last night, three offenders have attended um, a firearm store at Browns Plains. They positioned a vehicle at the front entrance of the doors, which is um, secured by the use of steel bollards and um, security grill. They've attached um, what appears to be a towing rope to the front of the store where they've used a vehicle to force entry to the store to prise the doors open. Um, three offenders have gone in, which are described as 17 or 20 years of age, male, um, wearing hoodies and tracksuit pants. They've rummaged through the store, specifically targeting items in there where they've stolen a long arm uh, rifle, which is described as a Remington firearm. Um, they've also taken three crossbows and knives. Um, they've entered, re-entered and left on a number of occasions. Um, that appears to be, at this stage, a property that they've taken. Um, CCTV confirms that they were more than likely um, a little bit disorganised in, in relation to what they were actually doing in the store. It's obviously a concern from the QPS point of view that um, these offenders are in possession of these type of weapons that can be used for such things as armed robberies um, and those type of offences. We appeal for anyone that got information in relation to who may have committed these offences, contact Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000. Is the weapons stored or secured correctly? The weapons were appear to be um, stored in compliance with the legislation. That obviously the um, store, being a firearm store, is quite heavily fortified with the use of security. That they were using rods through the trigger guards of the firearms. It appears to be, um, as per legislation, that they were secured. Yes. Are we lucky that they didn't get more firearms? Then, could they? You know, is it strange that they only took one? Well, well, I guess when you review the CCTV, it appears that they were probably a little bit disorganised. That I'm not totally confident that. Um, they actually knew what they were doing as such that um, I guess they were relatively in and out in a short space of time and um, with darkness that's obviously the, the weapons that they decided to take and obviously through the security measures it's probably is lucky that they couldn't get access to more weapons. Um, are there any similarities with the description of these blokes to the Ram Raiders from last week? Oh, I guess when you look at the description of the Ram Raid offenders that, that they were just quite generic in itself, just male offenders, um, similar type of age, but to say there's a correlation between those offenders and this one, it's unknown at this stage. Um, last week, uh, Superintendent uh, Noel Powers denied that uh, a new task force would um, be issued with the ram raids. Now that, that it has been stepped up a bit with weapons stolen, do you think that's something you might consider again? Oh, look, that, that's obviously for comment by Superintendent Powers at this stage from an investigator point of view that we've got our investigators attached to the CIB reviewing this offence particularly at the moment and still continuing to investigate the ram raid offences. That there's been no task force that's um, been created or, or started that's just in our normal daily review of crime um, that we're happy that we'll make some inroads shortly. Mm -hmm. And just to clarify, no ammunition was taken as well? Not, not that I've night? been told at this stage, it appears purely um, just the weapons that have been taken.